Good morning. Um, oh, my office smells like makeup, nail polish, <laughs> for some reason. So it's a 6 a.m. start today, hence the giant mug of coffee, because I need to get as much work done as possible because at uh, 11 in the morning, I'm getting a root canal. Yay. I'm kind of scared, but it's one of those things where it's just like, you need to just not think about it. So I'm not thinking about it. Last time I went to the dentist, I forgot my headphones and that was, that was the worst idea ever. So I have noted on my calendar to bring my headphones because I'm gonna be like hours in the chair with needles and grinding noises. Oh, fun. So yeah, at least I'll be able to listen to my Nicki Minaj playlist. I'm joking, I don't listen to Nicki Minaj. That was shitty. It's like they pumped me with so much anesthetic that like my eye is numb. <laughs> like this entire side of my face. Look how droopy I am. I'm so droopy. So yeah, root canals. Fun thing about that is I'm not done. There's like two more sessions that I have to come back to. So anyways, at least it didn't take as long as I expected. So I'm gonna go home and just do more working. Editing with a droopy face. It's been a couple of hours. I'm back at work editing, but uh, my face is still stu 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 super, super numb. So I'm going to do the smile test. Ready? That's how. That's how numb I am. We'll come back in a couple of hours and uh, check out. It's coming along. <laughs> Final check-in for the day. It's been another couple of hours and smile test. Back to normal. That's good. No more pins and needles. But my tooth hurts a lot. So that's fun. Uh, anyways, I've been working, like, slogging away at editing this mini documentary, and you can probably tell I can't really keep a smile off my face. This is turning out super cool, in my opinion, in my obviously biased opinion. I mean, as you can imagine, editing, like, over 10 hours of footage was, like, super difficult, but basically I got rough cuts of, uh, of the edits with all of the animators and all of the, the participants and uh, split them up into the videos that they'll end up be, being going into going into sorry I'm not talking very well uh, but yeah I have basically a video on like the history of animation and then a video on sort of the history of independent animation uh, and I've been then refining the edit the first cut of the yeah. history of independent animation I'll show you the intro or the start that I've got so far I mean, I, I love animation since I was, um, since I could remember. It was the thing I said I want to be when I grow up, and now I am. As a kid, you look at it and you take it in, in ways that you can't really explain it from the words now that you, now you see it as business and a technical process. Back then it was totally captivating, because you didn't know what it was. In school, when they, we had to draw what we wanted to be when we grew up, and I drew myself animating. The animator that I drew myself as was fat and bald and had a big moustache. My hair was brown for some reason and I was had a circuit board in my hand and I was pushing together two exposed wires that were sparking that was connected to a TV and it was making a cartoon frog appear on the TV. That was my understanding of being an animator. And I remember seeing the trailer for uh, Toy Story. I was like a 10 year old in the theater seeing this and I felt like standing up and being like, do y'all do just realize what's <laughs> happening right now? So it's obviously a rough cut. There's gonna be music and B-roll and other interesting footage spliced in with that. And I also have to retouch all the video of all the people, but I'm really happy with how like I'm able to somehow splice all those conversations together in a way that seems to tell a, a, a linear story, which is really cool. This is actually my first attempt ever at doing a documentary style uh, piece of content, and I'm doing three of them. Um, and I'm feeling like it's a lot of fun, like I'm really liking the process, and I think it's the part of my brain that does this stuff that's working well with it because I had the conversations with these people. So I know the basic flow and, and the points that I want to use. And I might've had a, an hour conversation with each of these people, but 
know roughly where the three to four minutes of conversation that I want to use was in that conversation. And then I have to find, comb through all the footage, cut it all up, then organize it all individually, and then then organize them all with each other to tell that linear story. So it's complicated as hell. I'm just lucky and glad that I'm enjoying the process because it's so satisfying to finally see it all be organized. And yeah, it's this weird mix between being super organized and structuring things, but then also being creative and telling a story through that. So it's loads of fun. I can't wait to show you guys, but it'll probably be a couple of weeks before I can put anything out. So question of the day comes from Shinakazami1, who says, Jazza, I wanted to ask you, is there a way to go into animation business without any art school? By the way, I love your work. Keep up the great work and have a nice day. Oh, thank you. Uh, the, in answer to your question, absolutely. The, like, you don't have to go to art school Art school's good if you learn in that way traditionally with structured learning, if you learn well. But if you can't afford it or if you're bad at learning in those environments, you don't need it to become a professional animator. And nearly all of the conversations that I had with these people when I'm putting this this footage together or, you know, this, this storytelling documentary thing on animation, nearly all of them didn't go to school. Uh, and these are people with big audiences who have made big impacts on the world with animation. So... All you have to do is work really hard and put your guts and heart and soul into it. And you can not only learn it and work in it, but you can also make a difference and make an impact and leave your mark. It's awesome. Anyway, that will do for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, make sure to leave your questions for tomorrow's question of the day. And other than that, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to go take some painkillers. Bye. Oh, and then you're due at the dentist for your hoot root canal. You know, sticking who in front of everything doesn't make it hurt less. Just waste time. It's true. My who root canal sucked. Okay, this was just been too little. Huh.